guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment what you want me to do next. But if you want to see how to achieve this look, continue to watch. So next, I'm going to, now I did all like my creams and stuff, I like to rehydrate my face. Cause this is the part where you can look a little chalky, so more Avion water. It's a little scary sometimes. <laughs> so now that you've done that, I'm going to I'm going to take some NARS soft velvet pressed powder in the color Mountain. And this is you're gonna be like, girl, that is too light, but it's gone. You gonna see it's gonna come together. This is a real techniques brush, a stippling brush. And I literally take a little bit and press it in. Literally just a little bit. You press it in. I'm not really into like the whole baking thing because Yes, I should be, but because I'm oily, but yeah, I think about it, we put the powder on before. And then I kind of don't like to put on too many powders on my face because it makes you look dry and it doesn't give you like that natural skin look. And that's what I like to go for. So then next we're going to go back in with the MAC Dark Mineralizing Powder. So I use the same brush, do the same thing. Precedent. And like, where I realized, like, with doing this, because I'm actually not really dusting anything away. And like, I'm literally pressing the powders into my skin. It helps me stay matte all day. And I'm not. Like, some oils come through, but it's not as bad. And I like when like some of my natural oils come through anyway. So then next what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in with a ring a real technique brush. I can say most of my stuff is rubbed away. Rubbed away. So we're gonna go in with MAC in the color Swiss chocolate and I'm gonna contour my cheeks with this. And blow some off. And literally just a little bit. Circle of motions, back and forth. And I really, the only reason why I kind of like contour and stuff on my forehead is for color. I do not feel like I have a big forehead and that I need to contour. Kind of a color to warm me up. So after I did that, I'm gonna go in with CoverGirl Chocoholic Bronzer, and I love this bronzer. This smells like chocolate. I could sit here and smell it all day. It so good. And I'm gonna go in with a powder brush. Literally, flip it around, tap it off. And you have to be careful with this bronzer because a little goes a long way. And I love this because it's just like this, it gives you highlight, it gives you, ooh, it gives you skin. And it's really like, girl, where are you going? I want to come too. Give me a little bit of this bronzer. And I'm going to And I also like to take a little bit of this on my own. I really like, love to use this stuff because it smells so good. And it's just like, who would have thought to buy this? Like when I first saw it, I was like, I'm a little skeptical, but I was like, this is such a pretty color. So then after you do that, I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Powder, powder. <laughs> MAC Mineralized Powder in the color Dark Deep. I'm going to go in with an Urban Studio. This also looks like a powder brush. I'm going to blend out my contour. Like, right, because who want harsh lines? And my main thing is like, 
I love for skin to look like skin and also like oh you got makeup on but could that be her skin? I like to use a lot of powders because I do get oily. I don't really like to use too much of creams. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in the color translucent. And we're going to cut our cheeks and you know, carve them out. And this step for me is so important because I love a good like contour and when it's like really really sharp. We're going to go back in with the MAC in the color Swiss Chocolate and we're going to contour our nose. And I like to use this Real Techniques brush because I feel like it just it blends so good. Tap the excess off. We're going to contour our nose. We're going to make it look like we got a nose job. And then like, I like to go under right here. And contour as well. And you wanna put And you wanna go like there's no tomorrow because who wants to see an ugly contour line? down somebody's face. I think we're done with that. Y'all, this bronzer is giving me life. It's just like, do I need to put on? So, yeah, next I'm gonna go into, put some eyeshadow on, and it's really not much. I just like to put some type of color in my eyes to give me like some transition. And this is um, MAC in the color Saddle, one of my favorites. I'm literally just going to put that in my crease. I'm going to put some eyeliner on. And this is my favorite eyeliner is my ELF. And just a little bit. So now that we have that on, I'm going to go in with my Bobbi Brown Illuminating Bronzing Powder. And I'm going to use it in this color. And this is just to blend in just a little more. And I'm going to go in with a uh, bronzing brush. Then again, like I said, I don't know who my, most of my brushes are by. Because I get them from TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have really good brushes. I love soft, like a good soft brush. And we're gonna blend right here. And this just give me like a little more color. Then we're gonna go in with a elf brush. And I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in bronze glow. This is my favorite, it has lasted me for years. I'm gonna take it. I'm literally gonna place it. Just place it. I'm gonna see why. I'm gonna place it. Place it. I'm gonna go in with the powder brush. I'm gonna blend it. That's just the base of a highlight because I love a good highlighter. So now we're gonna go in with some mascara. And this is drugstore brands called Showing Out. Just picked it up. I was in a rush one day. 
Then next, now that we have that on, we're gonna put on some lashes. And these lashes I just get from the beauty supply store. And what I'm doing, I'm just seeing which lash I want to wear. Ooh, that one's cute. And I like to use hair glue because I feel like it just lasts longer. And who has time for the white glue get like all over that lash and stuff? While those lashes dry, I'm gonna take my on. We're going to spray a powder brush. I'm gonna go in with Mac Gold Deposit. This is my all-time favorite. And we're gonna put that. And I like the this powder brush because I feel like it hugs my cheek, and I'm like actually putting it on. Put a little on my cheek. So now our lashes are dry. We're gonna try lashes on. I don't like to use tweezers because I feel like I can't get as close to my eye. I like to literally just sit them on. We just pop those on. You see how we just went from oh my gosh, she's basic to who is that girl? I want to be her friend. So now that we have our lashes on, I'm going to go back with my mascara and put on some mascara from my bottom lashes. And one thing that I like about this mascara is like it has like this little ball point at the, it's like this little ball at the end, which is really good for the bottom lashes. And I'm literally just running it across, like lightly touching my lash. Alright, so after we're done with our mascara, it's time to blend away the stuff. So I guess I do bake, but I don't bake under my eyes, I just bake um, under my contour. So now we're going to go in with this brush. I don't know what kind of brush it is, so let's go in with it. We're going to dust it away. Mm. We'll work this away. This is my favorite brush because I feel like it just blends everything together. It's like, oh, you think you forgot something? Not with this brush. <laughs> and I like to take this along the side of my nose, blend our forehead. I literally like to blend everything with this brush. So this is like my everything, my everything brush. So now, after that we're done with that, I'm gonna take my handy dandy baby on water. <laughs> it be coming out so hard, like, it be bad. All right, set our face. And then, we're gonna highlight some more with our Juvia's. Julia pa Palace and the Nubia Roots Highlighter. I am a, I'm a lash girl and a highlighter girl. I love to freaking highlight and I love a good lash. So we're gonna go in with our blending brush. And I don't like to dip into this because you see it so much. I just like to take this on the, the loose ones that's on the lid. Literally. Oh my nose. And Cube is buff. I'm gonna go in with this elf brush again. Dip in here. And we're gonna just tap that on. Your friends you innocent, they have to I need to let her need some more on my nose. And I'm using my middle finger. And then we're going to go back in with that blending brush. Yes. 
this. So now I'm gonna go in with the powder brush to blend out the highlighter. Okay, we're done with the face for now. So next I'm gonna go in with my cork lip liner from MAC. It's my favorite lip liner. So I'm gonna line my lips and I overline my lips because my lips are small. And we're gonna so for my bottom lip, I literally like to go like this. And I literally so you saw how I just line my lips, I go like this. And I'm gonna line a little below. Just a little bit, like it's literally like the slightest, and it gives me like that, like my bottom lip is like, like lush. So I line my lips normally, and then I go back, and like that's when I start to overline. So with my top lip, I go like tuck my lip, and I literally just do it a little behind where I already lined. So now, I got the basics of it. And then I'm gonna go in with a NYX NYX lip liner in the color Nude Pink. I'm gonna fill the center of my lips in. So after we put that new lip liner in, we're gonna go back in with cork and just re-outline our lips. So a trick that I learned for like your lipstick to stay on longer is to line your, to just line your whole lip. So that's why I lined the, the center of my lips with that new pink. So next I'm gonna go in with MAC in the color Hug Me. I literally just put a little bit. Boom. So next I'm gonna go in with my lap. My MAC lip gloss, and I think this is the color in Oyster Girl, just a little bit. We are not done because we have small lips. So what I'm going to go in with next is my Fenty Beauty uh, lip gloss in the color Fussy. It smells so good. We are still not done, our small lip girls. <laughs> Go back in with the brown. And then I go in with this lip gloss from Bath and Body Works. And we are done. I'm gonna set our face with the handy dandy baby hole. Thank you for watching. She undecided, no, no, yeah. Like, go be vibing, vibing. Say she coming over, she be riding, riding. Got a boyfriend, but she messing with me. What's what she undecided, no, no. But I still tell her, come on over, get down with it. Red nose into the window, boys in the ceiling. Boy, you gotta see a twirl like, ah, big old booty girl, how much of that you got? It's Jetic, uh. And she say it like she want it. Let her way she do it when she come and hop up on it. Yeah, and she wanted like Bianca. Baby, so hot, who is like a son? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, uh. yeah, yeah. Ooh, say you got me on a high end. Yeah, yeah, yeah.